All right, well, so far I uh, haven't had a full 24 hour period where this thing has been not been problems with me. But anyway, uh, looks like uh, one of these two hoses went out. And of course, they're not very old and they don't last very long. Oh, crappy ones today. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. CRP, and this one, I don't know, this one, I don't think this one's leaking, I replaced this one, I think I did this one, but I don't know if I did this one, so, um, but I do have a coolant leak, so I've got a bucket under there now, and I'm going to go ahead and replace this, I'll let you guys check it out, and I'll put it on uh, hyperlapse here, and go ahead and remove this thing, and let you guys watch, give you guys the results later, uh, what happened. All right, so keep stay tuned. If you've got your rabbit, you've got one hose that looks like this with the, uh, this one has the oil cooler so any of them that have the oil cooler gas or diesel have these two hoses they have this one and then they have this one I'm not sure which way it is i think it's that way and these can be kind of hard to find on uh on uh, i mean they have them at this i think there's a place called hans diesel has these Pretty cheap or I found it on I just had to Amazon it until I found the one that's shaped like this and that's if you have the oil cooler if you don't have the oil cooler which is right here that's your oil cooler it's connected to the filter and you can see that that's the oil cooler right there um, so what's happening on mine looks like is somehow the clamp on this end you couldn't see it because this hose is kind of in the way it's kind of like that it's underneath um, this hose right here the clamp had slipped off the bottom edge I don't know if I had gotten it on all the way last time I did it it's really so hard to get to it's I have to really double triple check it and make sure I get it uh, on there this time because I don't know what happened or just slipped off slowly or came off somehow I don't know was loose or something I don't know but I'll I gotta take this I'm gonna take the hose off and I'm gonna make sure it's not the hose isn't bad itself if it isn't I got an extra one right here so yeah, and I did the I got this one from Hans Auto Parts that's where I got it from and it's their Rothenberger engineering they have a lot of crap parts but some of this stuff isn't bad and it's very cheap all right so I'll put you guys on hyperlapse again let you watch it Well, I hope that part didn't bore you guys to death. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I did here. I had to take off this hose too. This one wasn't leaking, but it was looking like it was going to. So what I'm going to do is, um, well, this one actually was the culprit. What happened is somehow the clamp slipped sideways and popped off that end of the hose. And then it kind of broke it it looks like it was it was clamped all the way across and then a little piece of hose came off right there so that's how it happens you really gotta uh, even though it's really hard to reach in these things 
you still have to make sure that your clamps are on straight. And I, I don't know if I did this on the lift last time. I might have did it on the ground and I was underneath it and you can, can't really see very good. So even though it takes me a lot more time to do in the lift, it's a lot better. So anyway, what we're hitting right there is, is that transmission or the, uh, what's it called? Uh, pump uh, bolt is actually rubbing on the hose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hose here and since it's pretty shot, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of it and then kind of wrap it around the other hose to protect the new hose from getting worn through. So I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second. All right, so I took my scissors and cut off a piece of hose like that. I'm going to slide that over the other one and I'm sure it'll stay in place because of that bolt shoving its way into it. Um, I was going to silicone it on there with black silicone, but let me just put it in place. Let's take a look. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but I got the other hose right there. You see that bolt, and then you can see the other hose is kind of wrapped around the other one. I think it'll stay there. Uh, I could take and flip it up a little bit, put a little silicone on it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure. But anyway... And of course, to get to all three of these, you have to take off all these hoses here. So I had to take this one here off, and it's done from underneath. You get really, I mean, it's a messy job. It's really hard to see everything uh, to make sure, but you got to make sure those clamps are on there straight. And I usually, I do, and that's what's weird is uh, I couldn't see, if you can see with this on, you can't see that other hose above it. So it's really hard to do, uh, and you got to take this one off too. So plan on changing them both if you're going to do it. All right, so let's take a look here. That clamp's pretty straight. The one up above it on is in the right place. Got this one straight. If it's a little bit crooked, it will work its way back off again. These things are really picky. Now I gotta put on this lower radiator hose, which is the first thing you gotta take off to do the hoses. Well, I don't know where the clamp is, but, uh, oh, I bet it's in the coolant. There it is, all this time. All right, so I got the last one on there, nice and good. What I'm gonna say to you guys is go ahead and uh, when you fill your engine with coolant, Make sure you get 50-50 or buy the coolant and add 50% distilled water. Uh, or if you have a reverse osmosis system, that works okay too. So as long as you have clean water with no alkali in it, um, add 50% coolant, 50% water, or get the 50-50. Uh, because if you don't add the water to a coolant, your engine is going to run hot. Okay? Because coolant does not dissipate heat as well as water does. So if you have the water mixed with the coolant, then it does its proper job. If you only have just uh, water in it, then you're going to have corrosion problems. If you have just coolant in it, you're going to have problems with it not cooling as well. Those are things to keep in mind when you're changing your hoses. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Um, I don't have any coolant here, so I have to go get some. And uh, I probably won't add that in, so I'll just tell you guys... Uh, See you in the next one. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and hope this helps you figure, figure out some of those hose issues on your rabbit. Uh, those hoses are completely the most garbage uh, hose system I've ever seen in my life. This stupid triangular hose is there, or whatever. This garbage is just idiotic. I don't know how they couldn't have figured out a better way to engineer that. Um, but I think it was an afterthought, so... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here. I'll take you to the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.